Bugaku, the old court music and dance, is unique. It dates from the 8th century and is still performed in its original form. More authentically Japanese is the folk music and dancing, popular throughout the country. cradle of the development of the puppet theatre, one of Japan's famous stage arts, was the Isle of Awaji, where it is still a popular entertainment. But the puppet play reached its perfection in the merchant city of Osaka. The 17th century playwright Chikamatsu, Japan's Shakespeare, wrote almost exclusively for the puppet theater, and his works are still regularly enacted in the Bungakuza, the only puppet theater in the country.
shrine festivals, regularly held in town and country, are a form of relaxation for young and old. In the yearly Gion Matsuri, one of Japan's greatest festivals, towering floats are rolled through Kyoto. Even wilder are the farmers' festivals of the rural Shinto shrines. Originally harvest celebrations, these matsuri have grown into village carnivals, which give the hard-working population a chance to let off steam together. The highlight of every festival is the carrying around of the mikoshi, a palanquin into which the guardian deity has temporarily descended. Under calls of washo washo, a meaningless cry, the bearers jig along with the Nikoshi, steered, as they say, by the deity itself. are the monkeys of Mino, a resort famous for its autumn colors. This season, the heart turns to the quieter pleasures of life, like the drinking of tea. Under the influence of Zen Buddhism, the tea ceremony became an aesthetic cult aiming at purification and a correct appreciation of art. But under the maple leaves, it is less pretentious. Decorations symbolizing good luck adorn the houses during the New Year's holidays, a period of rest and a birthday for every Japanese. In Kyoto, geishas pay their traditional New Year's calls. In 
Tokyo, thousands visit the Meiji Jingu, a Shinto shrine dedicated to Emperor Meiji, who in the last century guided the country in its period of westernization. There are many, too, who bring greetings to the imperial palace. Once son of heaven, now symbol of the state, the emperor continues to be loved by the older generation. But for the young, he is no longer a source of inspiration. In their modern society, they search for new values and pleasures. Some choose the path of least resistance and lose themselves in soul-destroying activities. All hopes are set on the young, the rising generation which has never seen the perils of war. They ask for understanding and recognition of their new ideals rooted in a strong desire for peace. Shouting the same cry, Washo, as the palanquin bearers of the festivals of former days, students now participate in public demonstrations. Determination in the face of obstacles characterizes the country and is symbolized by the carp streamers hoisted in May for every boy. Times have changed their destiny but the Japanese have proved themselves flexible and courageous in adversity. Living between tradition and progress, 90 million people go their way, seeking a worthy place among the nations.